Marvel's Spider-Man does an amazing job at making you feel just like Spider-Man. From the fast-paced combat to the fast-paced web swinging, Insomniac hit the nail right on the head when creating this game. The love and care they put into this project was something the Spider-Man video games needed. Let's talk about the story. The story had amazing character relationships. The relationship between Peter and Otto, Peter and MJ, Peter and Miles, Peter and Yuri, and Spider-Man and all the different villains. It was a great idea to have the game take place years after Peter had become Spider-Man. The buildup of Mr. Negative at the end of Act 1 was just insane. He blows up a bomb and kills a bunch of people just to hurt Norman. Chasing down Mr. Negative in Act 2 and finding out more about his messed up backstory. By the end of Act 2, you finally capture the man who you've been chasing the whole time that you think is the main villain only to find out that you got tricked. Dr. Otto Octavius was behind it all along. He has been planning to get back at Norman this whole time. You then realize that you helped create a monster. Then Act 3 starts and you have to chase down the new Sinister Six. This has to be my favorite part of the whole story. Seeing all of Spider-Man's old villains teaming up, all being led by his mentor, Doc Ock. This really had me fanboying out. You then find out the truth on why Mr. Negative is corrupt and why Otto hates Norman so much. This whole thing was just about getting back at Norman. And after that, you find out the truth about your best friend, Harry Osborn. The whole game you think he's gone on trip when in reality he's been sick and he was about to die and he's undergoing treatment right now. That's why he's gone and there's been no answer. The story has so many twists and turns. They're all great. It's just a well put together story that Insomniac did. Next I want to talk about the ending. The final fight with Doc Ock. You make a new suit just to fight him. And then you end up fighting him on the side of the building, almost dead. It was such a great fight. After you see Otto fighting with his somewhat split personality, trying to get Peter to help him. Then Peter has to make the hard call. Right after was the hardest part of the story. The death of Aunt May. I really thought she was going to be saved, but she couldn't. Hit me really hard in the feelings. Then the rest of the ending is pretty mediocre. Seeing Peter and MJ get back together, they kiss and it goes to credits was very underwhelming. The after credits you see Miles' newfound powers after getting bit by one of Norman's super spiders that he was creating. It was okay, it was a cliffhanger for sure just building a new universe so we know there's more to come. Overall the story was great. Had some dips but I loved every single minute of it. Next the side quests. The side quests were great. Some led to other villains, others were you just helping a fellow student out. The side quests also had some of my favorite parts in the game. I wish there were more side quests. They end up right until the beginning of Act 3. Was hoping there would be a lot more to do other than the main quest. But overall, what we had was great. Next I want to talk about the collectibles. This game was filled with different collectibles. They are my favorite aspects of most adventure games. There are backpacks to collect, landmarks to take pictures of, black cat heist clues, DLC coming soon. Enemy bases to take down, kingpin, demons, escaped Riker inmates, and the annoying Sable team. Harry's research bases, different tasks that Harry Osborne left around for you to do. Pigeons that you collect for a friend, different crimes all around the city, and the taskmaster challenges. By the way, he looked freaking awesome. 
Most of these collectibles gave you currency to buy suits, perks, and upgrade your gadgets. All in all, I had a blast collecting them all. The amount of time you spend collecting everything outweighs the actual time of the main quest. But for me, that wasn't a problem at all. Next, the combat. The combat was amazing. All the different skills you can get can just make you unstoppable. If you dodge, of course. There are so many ways you can jump into a fight, but the best way I would say are with the gadgets. Insomniac is known for amazing weapons and gadgets in their video games. This game has them as well. They all change up the way you fight. My favorite had to be the spider bots. They unleash hell on everything while you blast everyone with web bombs and fists to the face. Next, the web swinging. The web swinging had to be my favorite part of this game. I caught myself just swinging around and enjoying the view so many times. The amount of speed you can pick up in the later game can have you swinging from one side of the map to another in a matter of just 3 minutes. And the map is pretty big. The swinging felt like Treyarch's 2004 Spider-Man 2, where they defined how web swinging should feel. Combined with the gorgeous graphics of this video game, I spent a lot of time just swinging for no reason at all. Just to swing and watch the view. The negatives are pretty minimal. There are some very annoying Taskmaster challenges that felt damn near impossible. But the game is pretty nice in that you don't really have to complete them with a gold medal. Having to farm for crime tokens got a little repetitive after an hour or two of farming them. Sometimes the game would glitch out and I would complete certain side tasks and I would not get the reward. It got pretty annoying after a while. Also there is a side quest that I couldn't finish for some reason although a recent patch fixed that issue. Marvel Spider-Man is everything a superhero game should be. A superhero game should make you feel like the hero. And Insomniac did just that, if not more. I had fun throughout the whole 30 plus hours I played this game. I got my platinum trophy and yet I still find myself going back into the game just to swing around and beat up some bad guys. I can't wait to see what Insomniac has in store for the future of this franchise. I have to give this game a 9 out of 10. I will be replaying this game soon. Also, I have already recommended it to all of my friends. It isn't perfect, but I really love this game and I had a blast playing it. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up. Also, be sure to check out all of my gaming content. Stay up to date by subscribing to my channel and I'll talk to you guys soon.